Peter Buttress, known also as Simon Peter or Simon Cephas, was, according to Muslim tradition and exegesis, one of the original disciples of Jesus. Although Jesus's disciples, as that of the other prophets, have not played a major role in Islamic theology, the disciples of Jesus are notable in that they are the only group of disciples specifically identified in the Quran. Peter's figure, especially in Shia theology, is important as he is generally regarded as the first imam leader after Jesus, and therefore is in accordance with the Christian specifically Roman Catholic view of Peter as the prince of the apostles. The Quran is clear on the fact that the disciples of Jesus were steadfast believers in Allah. The Quran records that when Jesus began to feel the rejection of the Israelites, he asked the people as to who among them will be his supporters in preaching the gospel. It was then that the disciples stood up and asked Jesus to bear witness that they had submitted to God and further promised to stay by Jesus during his whole life. The Quran further records that God inspired the disciples to believe in his message and messenger. It further recounts a feast from heaven, which was a sign for the disciples of Jesus, although the Quran does not name or number the disciples. Quranic exegesis names the disciples, and Peter is usually listed at the forefront of all lists, corresponding with his role as the head of the disciples. Numerous incidents involving Peter are narrated in Muslim tradition and tafsir. The most famous of these is the narrative of Peter's preaching in Antioch, which is closely linked with the legend of Habib the carpenter. Muslim tradition narrates that two of Jesus's disciples went to preach the gospel in Antioch, the disciples being John and Jude, as the people of Antioch were devoted to idols. Few people, however, followed John and Jude's message, despite the fact that the two disciples performed various miracles including healing the sick and the blind. The disciples healed Habib's son and Habib helped preach the gospel to the people. When the news of the disciples reached the governor of the city, he called to see John and Jude. As the governor did not agree with the message of God, he threw John and Jude into prison. While they were in prison Peter went to Antioch. Peter was allowed to perform a miracle in front of the governor, when he raised a child who had been dead for seven days. The people however refused to believe Peter's words and got angry at Habib for his faith and stoned him to death. Non-Muslim sources maintains that Peter later went to Rome to preach the gospel. Peter is important in branches of Shi'a i theology as well as Ismailism, as his role is seen as the direct parallel to that of Ali as the first Imam after a prophet. Shi'a i Muslims maintain that every major prophet had a disciple or wasi z executor of will who became the Imam leader after his death. Adam had Seth, Noah had Shem, Abraham had his sons, Moses had Joshua, and Jesus had Peter. Topic. Believed descendants For information about Nargis, her mother, and her reported son the twelfth Imam of twelve Shi'i Muslims, see the articles Nargis and twelfth Imam. Topic. See also People of Yasin References